Welcome back to Piers Morgan Uncensored, live from New York City. The first instalment of my explosive world exclusive interview with one of the most brilliant but controversial artists in the world, Ye, formerly known as Kanye West, has already hit over Kanye. a million views on YouTube. He and I went head to head million views, for baby. two hours yesterday on everything from anti Semitism to George Floyd to White Lives Matter, views. the t shirt he wore, Kim Kardashian, of course, his ex wife, and Donald Trump. Here's a taste of what's Trump to come Trump. in our two hour special tomorrow. The interview everyone has been waiting for. Everyone. You're being a Karen. I'm not a Karen. Piers Morgan speaks exclusively Morgan. to Ye, explaining Lots his yay. controversial comments on George Floyd. As the most influential person on the planet, I am questioning it. Kim Kardashian. Would you like one day to get back with Kim? And his anti-Semitic tweet that got him kicked off Twitter. It is racism when you say I'm going deaf so clear for Jewish truth. people. It no, is. it's not. Interview adjourned. Let's and go. then he walks out of the interview. He walks out. And then he then walks he back, back in and apologizes. I and will apologizes. say I'm sorry for the people that I hurt. Piers Morgan, uncensored, exclusive two-hour special, Friday, 8 p.m. And there's a lot more where that came from. It was two of the most extraordinary hours I've probably ever had, I think, as an interviewer. Uh, Ye is no normal interview subject. He mocks my British accent. He <laughs> delights in being uncensored and then really tests the waters of our lack of censorship. <laughs> yeah, baby. Um, he's rude about a lot of people. He's warm in parts where I didn't expect him to be. He's funny. Uh, he's outrageous. He's shocking. He tries to defend the indefensible, but then apologizes for it. So... <laughs> It's a really fascinating watch. That'll be tomorrow night from 8 till 10 on Talk TV. Natalie Evans, I mean, we knew him as Kanye. Yeah. He's now Ye. Kanye. Everything Kanye about him is kind of fascinating, but he's been through a pretty awful few weeks of saying deeply inflammatory things about oh, no. the Jewish people, about George Floyd, about White Lives Matter t-shirts, enraging community after community. How is White Lives Matter What do you think of him? Uh, what's going on with him right now? Well, I think he's clearly a very confused, very vulnerable guy oh, who, I mean, as he said in your interview, you know, he, he has this huge platform, you know, he's, he's the most influential person in the world. And She's going to start coming in right away with this like whole overly offensive, extremely liberal, I like, can't say nothing. Oh, he's so confused. He's bad. Oh, he's so offensive to everyone. Here we go perhaps a mental state he's in. We all know he's got, you know, mental health issues. So he denies he has any mental illness. I mean, I'm not going to get it twisted. He is pretty sporadic with where he's at mentally with certain things. Like when he was in the presidential Oval Office with the president, President Trump, he was like interrupting, being loud and not really gracious. And then sometimes he takes stances that are impressive and need to be said. But then sometimes he just seems wild and not fully mentally there. So I do agree with that. He said that to me. He said his main problem is sleep deprivation, which might well be the case because he's got one of those, I can tell you he's got an incredibly restless, curious, fizzing mind. Yeah. This is why he, he goes off on tangents all the yeah. time. Very hard, hard to interview. It's yeah. sort of you. compelling like challenge as well. Else. But I think there's something about his mind that's just not, it's not normal. No. Whether it qualifies as mental illness, he says not. Well, I mean, if it was sleep deprivation, there'd be far more of us uh, running our mouths on, on Twitter mm. and our, our social media. Is platforms. it any defence for what, some of the stuff he's been saying? I don't think so, no. I mean, it was, oh it was fascinating God, to watch your interview, the, the <gasps> clips that we've seen. It was quite a journey with him, you yeah. know. <laughs> I mean, it was fantastic scoop. We'd be very proud of that. It was Thank on you. our side, but you know, for for him to come out, you know, this this whole concept of I'm fighting fire with fire. You know, it's one thing to you know stand your ground, be be defensive, um, but he's also, I mean, he's like a kid in the playground that's like, oh, you know. That guy punched me, so I punched him back. It doesn't make it right. Mm. He can say he's been the victim of racism. That doesn't mean that he should target other groups. You know, it, it incites hate in different directions. And as someone with that profile, he shouldn't be doing that. Yeah, no, I think it was. Yeah, but was he really inciting hate, or was he just? I mean, I don't really know what he said, but they'll take anything you say, like "White Lives Matter" shirt. Oh, you're inciting hate. You hate black people. No, he's black. There's no way he hates black people especially with different things he's done with different groups. I mean, I was almost, when I used to do work in politics and do videos, like I was almost backstage with him, except he was supposed to be at this event and then he pulled out last minute, last minute to be around a bunch of black kids. So he doesn't hate black people and so many other, it's just, it's just, it doesn't make any sense that statement like, oh, he's so racist. He made the White Lives Matter shirt. Come on.
It's interesting because he, he started off wanting to double down everything and was quite belligerent and almost sort of offhand about it. But then the longer he stayed, he walked off at one stage giving me an ultimatum. Yeah. He said, I'll only apologise for what I said about the Jewish people if all these business people who've ripped him off, as he says, get round a table and, you know, apologise to me. But he went away and thought about it. And when he came back, he then actually did issue quite a sincere mm -hmm. apology yeah. to any Jewish people who'd been offended by what he said and said they weren't the target of his, of his anger. I, th I think he's got a lot of pain and anger going on. Kanye, from all sorts of different directions. Kanye. His upbringing, Kanye the breakup Pierce. of his marriage, yeah. maybe not seeing his kids enough, I don't know. But, mm -hmm. uh, but i got to say, there are moments of great levity in this interview. He's very entertaining. He's compelling to watch. And by the end, I kind of felt, I, I just don't think he's the devil. He's certainly not the angel you may want people to think he is. Mm. Um, but it'd be interesting what people think. Yeah, for sure. I mean... The, the kind of, it was fantastic the way you Who actually did lady, kind of anyway? tease that uh, mm. apology out of him. You know, he clearly was not looking to do that. And yeah, maybe storming off again. I mean, a lot of the parts of the interview were quite childlike. Well, there's yes. a bit when he says to me, you know, I'm trying to give him advice about if I were you, I think I would think about what, what I said. Like, la, la. And he, no, no, he says, la, 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 la. And then he says, um, how rich are you? Well, well, not as rich as you, obviously. And he said, exactly. So why should I take your advice? And it's somehow <laughs> only money is the currency for being well, able to offer wisdom. Yeah. Uh, that is actually true. I have heard that statement from Kanye West, from, I don't know, somebody. If you hear it online, like, oh, I'm, you're not as rich as me, so why would I take advice from you? Well, not everything in life has to do with money. We can all offer people each other advice in different categories. And they can be valuable pieces of advice. And yet that person can be absolutely broke. We don't have everything figured out. So that idea of, oh, well, you're richer, you're not as rich as me, so I can't take your advice. That that makes no sense. I said to him, well, why don't you actually listen to my advice? And if you like what you hear, then it have nothing to do with money. Yeah, I mean, and it's, everyone is perfectly fine to disagree. I mean, I completely agree with you. He's been through a lot and he's been through it yeah. on a very, very public forum. You know, it's no easy thing to go through but it doesn't. You know what? It doesn't defend the indefensible. No, not he at all. He said some indefensible things, but I, I call him out on those. And it's an interesting challenge. Natalie, thank you very much indeed. Good to see you. Well, we're going to see the full interview soon or it's already up by now. I'm going to keep track of it and... Uh, put some videos out and do a reaction video live as it comes out. Uh, yeah, it's coming soon, the Pierce versus Kanye West interview. I love this teaser so we can see really what the heck goes on in this full thing. If you guys wanna see more videos like this and see if the reaction, if the full interview is out right now, I'll put it linked up above and down below. Uh, but if you wanna see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.